Welcome to Unfiltered Pixel Pro Audio's weekly show. Subscribe and like to see more content like this. Today we're going to discuss the newly announced Warm Audio Bus Comp. We'll tell you all about it. Straight out of Bus Compton. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back around the drum. I'm Tay, this is David, and that is Jay. And today we are going to discuss the newly announced Warm Audio Bus Comp. It's a stereo bus compressor that's shipping this month in January 2020. And this is something that uh, I know you guys have been excited about that you've mm -hmm. wanted from Warm Audio um, because it, of its usefulness and you know your desire to you know make out your studio uh -huh. in a certain way. Um, <laughs> So tell me first what this is, and I guess, and then secondly, why it matters. Go ahead, David. <laughs> okay. This no, is for, forgive David. He's a little under the weather. Yeah. Uh, he was hanging out with Yukon uh, uh, Cornelius and uh, Rudolph uh, over the holidays. They were so. sharing a <laughs> and He was, he was <laughs> up north, so yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he caught something up there. Yeah. Up in the UP. Let's bring it back to Wisconsin. Thanks, David. Sharing it with you guys. <laughs> so this is a stereo bus compressor. Um, it seems like it's an SSL clone. Okay. Um, but Warm Audio has this thing where they, they put transformers in their gear where there usually isn't. And this just makes everything sound so much better. I love transformers, okay. and uh, th that's like what I'm most excited about with this compressor. It's not just a clone; it's got added features to it. Yeah, that's what I'm most excited about too. You stole my thunder, David. Sorry. Ditto. No, right. but I mean that and the price point. I think the price oh, point is yeah. great. It's yeah. six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Yeah, that's crazy. Which is, which is a really good price for this compressor, and I think like adding those transformers <clears throat> makes it an even better deal. Mm -hmm. There have been a lot of people who have, you know, created copies of the SSL compressor. Um, and have done a really good job of it, like the Chameleon Labs. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? The 72? 7721. 7721. Ding, Thank ding, you very ding, much. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. And like they did a really great job where they added a bunch of new features. And I think they added a cool twist to it with their blend knob mm -hmm. uh, between bypass and not bypass. Um, but this is cool, too, because it's adding transformers. and Cinemag transformers. And cheaper, even, yeah. still. And... Uh, um, so I'm pretty pumped about it for that reason. I, in the past, I have built an SSL bus compressor myself. Mm. So they're really, they're not that complicated. That was my first project where I built something. It's where I really learned how to solder. I made a lot of mistakes. And so, you know, that that cost me about $300 to build and a lot pretty good. of time and research and uh, a lot of repairing it because my soldering was terrible. So <laughs> this coming in at this price point, I feel like is a with transformers is a really good deal that's a screaming deal tell the lay people out there what a bus compressor is used for for compressing your buses right <laughs> <laughs> See, what, what are in those exactly <laughs> as it sounds what are in those buses but, but i i use it for compressing like a drum sub mix or a mm -hmm. lot of people use them for compressing sub mix maybe they'll run drum and bass through it to kind of you know create a pump and they'll create a malt off of that um but the, it's used to compress your final mix. That's the main reason. These originally were in SSL consoles, and they were on the stereo bus, so you could, you know, give it a nice light compression. Usually, people were doing a couple dB, one mm -hmm. or two dB of compression, just to kind of give it some cohesion before it went to mastering. And the SSL bus compressor is famous for doing that really well. Mm -hmm. So this has basically one job in the in the chain of making a song or music, right? Sure, but you could use it for a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing about this compressor is that it's got independent left and right inputs. So you can use this as a mono compressor for tracking or even for mixing. If, if you want to run your bass through it during mix and then print it, you can do that. And okay. then use it again to run your drums through or your whole mix. Right. And it's, it's, <clears> a, <throat> it's a great drum <throat> compressor, in my opinion. I, yeah. I would, oh, yeah. you know, I'd stick my kick or snare on that, no problem. Track with it? Track with it, sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's a, cool, it's a and, cool compressor. Would you use this to master in the end, or is that sure? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I, but oh, yeah. when the one I built, I use it mo mainly as like a drum subgroup compressor to give them some punch, and it is awesome at that. I was always a little scared to, to um, compress my my master bus because I'm like, eh, should leave that to the mastering guy. He knows more about it than I do. So I made some mistakes with some distressors early, early on in my recording experience where I, I smacked that thing hard and then there was no one doing that. So I kind of got scared off early so on. you're not a good bus driver. <laughs> oh. I was waiting for one of those jokes. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I would... 
I mean, if this was something I had in a home studio, that's like working in a recording studio where you you got 24 hours to get a song done. Yeah. And so you're like making quick snap decisions. If this was my home studio, which this is budgeted towards a home studio, if it were a home studio, it would be a different story where I could experiment with it more and I could really dial it okay. in and feel more comfortable doing that. So And it's kind of like a, a another tool in the, in the toolbox that you could use for other things or discover what you could use it for. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pumped about it. I think it's a, uh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Cinemag Transformers. Mm -hmm. Now, is there in the world of Transformers, is this like top of the line? Yeah, one of them, yeah. Okay. Um, Warm Audio uses Cinemag in a lot of their gear. Mm -hmm. Just running audio through the Cinemag just makes it sound more open and more colorful, and it fills up the low mids nicely. Um, so is this filling a void in this price point market? Uh, is, there is, another, is there another e even near this price point? Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, uh, if anybody knows, let us know. I'm trying to think of one that's in this price point that is essentially an SSL clone. And I can't think of one. The Chameleon Labs is probably the closest that okay. I can think of. But there's no Transformers in that. There's so. no transform, but it has yeah. that mix blend knob and it sounds great. So Yeah. yeah. Okay. So not really, but not really. The, the Chameleon Labs is close. It's a couple hundred bucks more. Okay. Right? Or is it a hundred bucks more? A couple hundred bucks more. I think it's eight eight ninety nine, I think. This is a V C A mm -hmm. style. Yes. Uh, pop quiz, what does VCA stand for? Voltage, Voltage control, control amplifier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had that on another episode, and I was just testing you guys. So <laughs> Thanks. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Um, so it's shipping uh, this month. Uh, they gave us a date, but uh, like I looked at the release um, on their uh, social media and stuff, and they're just saying mm -hmm. January, so we're just going to say January. Um, but we have a pre-order link below, and we've got some um, uh, pre-order bonus cables with that. Uh, it's going to be some Mogami cables. So uh, it, it you want to order from us because yeah. you're going to get free cables that you're not going to get from anybody else. Free Mogami cables. We're Mogami. 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 We're not cheaping out on you. Come on. Yeah. So <laughs> that link is below. So please click that and uh, find out uh, the steal you'll get. Do um, you guys have anything more to say about the compressor? I would like to get one from Warm Audio and, and test it out. Do some sound samples. Mm, absolutely, that'd awesome. be a fun one. Yeah, we already have the format. We'll just do the Chameleon Labs format again. Yeah, yeah. Great. yeah. So yeah, we should be able to get our hands on one of those and, and do this. Yeah, because uh, uh, yeah, we we've been getting into more sound samples with our uh, testing some of our gear out, and uh, now we've kind of we're rolling on that. So this is just another one, another option for us to do. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, yeah, we can show you. So the reason we're do. we don't have sound samples right now is because it's not out yet. So right. just to be clear, yeah. <laughs> so we're just talking about it. We're just this came through, and we. Um, I know David, you've been just uh, like wanting this piece of gear at probably this affordable price for a while. Um, yeah, who doesn't? Right. I mean, let's be real. So most <laughs> yeah, most engineers would probably find this very intriguing. Yeah. All right. We'll wrap this up. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, subscribe and like our channel uh, to see more content like this. There's a link below to sign up for our giveaways. Uh, we do one every quarter. This uh, quarter, we're giving away an Aston Origin. Right, mm -hmm. Jake? An Aston Origin. Yep. So which is a superb microphone. And everyone should have one in their mic locker. So, hey, you can get one for free from us. Yep. So click that link below. Sign up for our newsletter. You'll be entered to win that giveaway and everything else. So... All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around the drum next time. Uh, don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> You're making me not yeah. want to have kids. Well, that just killed the mood. <laughs> David, get better. You'd be laughing. Yeah, he would be. He'd, he'd be, be cringing. He'd be, he, he would be laughing. He's so subdued. He's clearly on some sort of uh, methamphetamine. Around the drum. Around the drum. <laughs> hey, <And> FBI. <laughs> is Jay in there? It works now that I'm back. No, I didn't feel like I was ever going to throw up. Straight out of bus Compton. I kind of feel like I'm going to throw up a little bit. Just put those hands down. The put <laughs> wheels on the comp go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Please. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love that David doesn't think it's funny, too. <laughs>